We talked about this a little bit on uh, last episode. Errol Spence sidling with the cataract uh, surgery. It says at least eight weeks. So eight weeks gets you almost into April. Um, and now, obviously, the Terrence Crawford rematch was floated out there, contractually obligated for that. And it got me thinking about Terrence Crawford, man. I mean, this is the pound for pound number one fighter in the world. Um, this well, is eight the weeks guy. turns into sixteen weeks because he's going to have a training camp after that. Uh, exactly. So now, what are we looking at? So I, I, you can almost take Spence out of the equation here. Yes. Um, he hasn't come out and said that. PBC hasn't come out and said that. But you know, let's just play a little hypothetical game here. Errol Spence is out of the equation. Terrence Crawford suddenly the best pound for pound yeah. fighter in the world doesn't have a logical opponent. Who is it? I'm 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 writing out the names. I'm you know, Jerron Ennis at 147 suddenly looks like a fun fight. Yeah. Jamel Charlo at 154. Jamel Charlo just fought at 168. He's facing all sorts of out of the ring issues. Who knows with that guy? Tim Zhu would be a fun fight. That's at a whole different weight class. I don't think we see that one. I've I, I've liked that one. Uh, you know, a month ago, I, I'm feeling like that's not going to happen now. And then there's the Canelo uh, fight, which I had last. Maybe Canelo makes more sense. Actually, well, the Canelo. Right I'm just one way to look at it because I feel like that just lost all momentum. Like in the summer, that was the hot fight we were talking about. And then like we kind of realized, like as we got further away from it, like this doesn't seem too realistic. But no, like but Terrence Crawford, does. like are you staying at 147? You already got one belt taken away. Um, at 147, the fight is Jerron Ennis. At 154, I guess it's Zoo, and then there's the Canelo fight out there. So I, I really don't know what's next for Terrence Crawford, where he's in this big fight portion of his career. Crawford's flat out said Ennis isn't the fight, and I, I tend to agree with him. Will he change his not, mind, though? It's not, it's not a big fight, but it's, he's not going to get that money the way that he's he's looking for. He's, he's in the twilight of his career. He's looking for the massive major payday. But he should That's get $20 million to fight Ennis just because of his name alone. Just he being Terrence Crawford. He won't. Take all the money from Ennis. Ennis will say, yeah, I'll take short money to fight for a chance at Crawford. Crawford takes 70% of the pie. Well, Ennis, they're talking about him going to match room, which is going to make that fight really off the table. So, I great. Don't, I, yeah, I don't, you know, what? I said great. Not more yeah. divide. Uh, yeah, I don't know Ennis's deal. Like, he's not really signed with PBC. Like, he he had, uh, I forget his manager. I think his manager actually just passed away, Cameron Duncan. Um I don't know Ennis' deal his, in, in terms of contractually where he's obligated to, but that's the that's the best fight right now in terms of guys that are around at 147 where Crawford last fought. Obviously, if you want to throw in like that Ennis took his IBF belt, it can get back to being undisputed again, uh, Terrence Crawford. But the Charlo fight is a mystery. The Zoo fight is intriguing, but that, now we're getting into the Does anybody care about the Charlo fight anymore? No, because of how no, Charlo came out and fought Canelo. Yeah. When I Crawford, think. remember when Crawford pointed at Charlo in the ring while yeah. he was putting a beat down on Spence and said, you're next? Yeah. yeah. Hot. Couldn't get any hotter than that. And I was like, yeah. wow. Crawford is going to go from Spence right to Jamel Charlo, right to the Hall of Fame. Boom. And now, you know, then we get the Charlo all out of nowhere fighting Canelo. And that really messed everything up. You know, it'd be crazy if both. Uh, Crawford and Spence retire this year and don't fight anymore because I could see it. I don't think Spence is going to fight anymore, honestly. I, I, I multiple know. eye injuries. Injuries, yeah. dude, eyes are eyes are hard to fix. As, as, as technologically advanced as we've gotten, 20 years ago, a torn retina was the end of your career. You're never the same after. And yeah. even now, Abner Morris came back after a retina surgery, was not great. Uh, Sugar uh, Ray Leonard came back after uh, eye surgery, was not great. Um, you know, Spence now has had, he's in, on his second surgery for, for an eye issue. I mean, especially after the beating he took, we might right. not see him again. Don't want to write you know, him off, but it's I, it's hard to disagree. It's not writing off. It's 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 being realistic, mm -hmm. and I, it would be a shame not to see him fight again. But also, his health and his eyesight matters. Right. He's um, talking about how much money he's made. Like he's he's he was on he was online the other day. He was yeah. firing back at people, and uh, he was like, "Well, I don't have to fight again if I don't want to. My kids are in private school. I got a wife. I got a ranch. I got a horse. Yeah, I, I think this. someone called him a one trick pony. He's like, "All right, well, that one trick got me." All this, so that's kind of a messed up, up. statement. By, but that's Twitter for you. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I think he's set, like obviously financially, and and I don't know, I don't know what to think of Spence, but you have to put a question mark next to him after. But also, I can see Crawford retiring too. If he can't make a big fight happen, we ju I, I just got to interview John Scully, you know, on, on again on ProBox TV, and he was talking about you know his retirement. We asked him about his career, and he said, "Listen, my last fight was one of the best fights of my career. I was super, I was super dialed in." He was like, "And then I was trying to get another fight." 
they kept falling through. They kept falling through. And then I just said, screw it. You know, I'm just going to go be a coach. <laughs> and, he, and he didn't, no offense to him. He didn't come close to the type of money that these guys were bringing in. No, that's another thing. Like he, he had to work. He had to go and like get a job. And, and, but it didn't seem like, <clears throat> it didn't seem like he was like, oh, I have to go coach now. That's why I need to retire. It's more like, man, this isn't, isn't working out. Like I'm yeah. not going to sit around and just go to camp after camp and not have a fight. happen. That would be so. a shame. I, I want to see um, Crawford fight. Three, four, more, three more times at least. I mean, next up at in the 147. Next up at WBA is Amanda Stanionis, WBC like Cody Crowley. Where's he been? What's what's going on with him? He was supposed to fight Virgil, and then Virgil. Got I don't want to know that. Like, but, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Back. Why is Stanionis not? No idea what's and, going on with him. Virgil was the one who had the health issues. Well, what's going on with Stanionis is that he signed with PBC, and they haven't announced their. Oh, okay. They have nothing on the schedule yet. Uh, Cody Crawley also signed with PBC. He's the, he's next up at WBC at 147. And there's Giovanni, former sparring partner of mine. Speaking about me, Kai, yeah, yeah, like you guys are kind of like the same cut out of the same cloth, you and him. I had Cody in camp with uh, for me for Pacquiao. I had him. I had Sean Zapata. I had Mike Lefty Brooks, Sab Judah. Mike I Lefty had... Brooks, shout out Mike Lefty yeah. Brooks, big fan of ours. Mike's that's my dude. That's See him on dude. Instagram um, all the time. Um, and then Giovanni Santelin, who had that upset, Santillon, yeah, had that big upset um, over who was that over? Uh, Rocha. Yes. Rocha. Thank you, Chris, for saving me there. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Should we mention this? Tiafimo Lopez? Yeah, why not? Tiafimo Lopez calls out Terrence Crawford at 147 pounds. We're looking for an opponent for Terrence Crawford. Tiafimo's no, uh, he, he'll, he'll call out anyone. He's, Theo's he's, a friend of the show. Why not talk about him? Tiafimo's you know? always down for a challenge. He says, I want the guy at 147. He says, Listen, he actually made some good points. If you're going to read them off. Yeah. yeah. I'm not here to play games. I want to fight the best. The fighters Crawford fought were handicapped. Spence just announced his eye. Benavidez had a shot leg. <laughs> Literally, someone shot him in the leg. Literally, he had a bullet in his leg. <laughs> Kell Brook was injured, too, with his eye. Every fighter Crawford has faced at 147 pounds has been injured. I'm healthy. Fight the best fighter at the healthier weight. Let's do it. Tio Fimo Lopez, Terrence Crawford. The thing about Tio is he likes to throw himself in hot water, and he always excels when he does. That's it. when he when he feels like he wants to tip top. He doesn't want to fight anything below the top because he just doesn't perform as well. He needs to be he needs to be like backed against the wall. We saw it in the Taylor fight. We saw it in the Lomachenko fight, and we and and and, and vice versa. We saw it in the Sandra Martin fight. We saw it. In the Cambosis fight, when he doesn't feel challenged, he doesn't perform at his best. So he's going for the biggest dog around. I I, I get it. I respect it. Do you think Ter um Do you think Terence Crawford versus Tifima Lopez is more realistic than Crawford Canelo? No. No, I think Crawford Canelo is realistic. I think that 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 fight that could happen. I guess because they're both with PBC, technically, that makes it way and easier. there's so much money to make there. I'm dude. talking about the weight in terms of, like, Tia Fima's at 140. He can, he can, it's real a lot easier for him to go to 147. <laughs> Crawford has fought his last uh, 10 or so fights, eight or nine fights at 147. With the Canelo one, we're talking, like, we're jumping 20 pounds. Uh, yeah, but honestly, I, Crawford going up, I think in terms of body size and structure, mm. is probably more possible than Tio. Tio is not big for 40. Him going to 40. I don't I don't see Tio being a 47 pounder ever. It seems like what they he, want to do now. Like uh, Haney. But dude, he it's weighs, like a race he to 147. He weighs in a 38. He yeah. weighs in like 38 and a half for these 40 fights. He, he's he's not tall. He's 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 always in shape. It's not like he, he's been putting on any kind of weight really. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I think he'd make 35 still. That's so, just Tio Fimo with a mic in front of his face doing a bunch of interviews, making noise. He even said the retirement was a publicity stunt. Like no shit. Yes, we knew that. And he goes, I know how to rile up you media guys. And then he call goes and calls out uh, Terrence Crawford. The Tia Fimo show rolls on next month. He's fighting Jermaine Ortiz. All right.